All right, we're going to continue with watching um, Story Mode, Life is Explange, Episode 5 and 6, Finale. We're finishing this, whatever this was. Like, I'm I'm curious about the timeline in this game, too, because it it's it's like I feel like this is all happening within like <coughs> like a couple of days. <laughs> it's like she shows up and then her brother gets murdered. There's a conspiracy. Like there's weird flirting and espionage. It's all just yeah. You know, small town shenanigans, you know. You know how it is. Yeah. Let's uh watch the finale. Let's the Life of Strange True Colors season finale is brought to you by War Thunder. What was that sound? Hold on, let me fix the sound. You don't wanna know. Previously on Life is Strange True Colors. Alex Chen's brother has died after getting hit by a big rock. I'm Alex Chen, my brother died. And it looks like the Typhon Mining Corporation is to blame. Us companies only care about profits. So she's stolen a USB <laughs> full of Typhon Company secrets. And she's about to find out that Haven Springs is hiding yeah, something I wonder who picks terrible the games in its past. That they cover. Episode Is five. it just random or is it something else? I don't know. Right, so it's the evening, and Alex is on the phone, and she's very excited. She's talking to Officer Pike. Alex says, yeah, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of evidence against Typhon. They're going down. Meet up with me later. Down. It's all on the USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. And plenty more. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Talk soon. And Alex hangs up the phone. Exterior. Please tell me they copied it. They made copies. The Spring Festival. Alex I think I said this last time we watched fucking watching in a fashion. Please let them have copied the fucking evidence. Please tell me they didn't leave it on this fucking one little little. I if they didn't copy, if they didn't make fucking copies. I'm gonna be so pissed. One might of a motion capture suit oh. if they only had one square meter right, to me. work with. Is it just me? Like, look how tiny these footsteps are. Alex walks up to a stage where Ryan is setting up some audio equipment. Check. They're putting on a concert? No. Oh. Holy shit, you own a skirt? God, that would be good too in his butt shot. <laughs> what Ryan the fuck? Ryan and Steph and Alex are all standing around, and Alex goes, I need to apologize to you guys. I should apologize for yesterday when I smashed that bottle. It was wrong of me. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Yeah, you're right. Now, I'm just ready whenever you are. Yeah, no, the over... Now, okay. Ryan has his eye on the prize. He The over-dramatization of her throwing that fucking bottle. And they looked at her like she had slaughtered the whole town. Like, what? I... That was literally just badly written drama for drama sakes it, it 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 was it was so awkward and so bad asks not to spoil the moment but typhon blew up their own mine why <laughs> it's a big cover up <laughs> the fucking zoom went in. down in the jet zone that's what we're calling it by the way and we've got all the info proving it on that usb which i'm gonna give to pike once he sees what's on that stick it's over for typhon Hence, the celebration. Which is why we're putting on a bit of a music concert, Alex. Wow, that's great, Ryan. Who will be playing in this music concert? Steph and Alex says, Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Who else? Steph. They both look back at Alex. Who else is playing? The drama. I hate you both. The drama. I didn't hate that. That was all right. You know what? The drama. This gets Mr. B's 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, not the angry, <laughs> not the angry joke badass film. <laughs> um, we've never played together before. Uh, and the uh, awkward and the cringe. We look over to Steph and she's already, Why? Bothered. she's loving it. 
Anyway, sorry if this sucks. So why are you wasting our time? Shouldn't you practice first? Mr. B, it's copyright. Cut the music. <laughs> Yes. Everything's copyrighted. <laughs> oh, I know that one. <laughs> Radio This killing me. Jam on stage, and it goes very well. But you shall never hear it. <laughs> wow, that was amazing, so, you guys. Alex what a concert! Is putting away a guitar. And suddenly, in the distance, we see... It's Charlotte. But she's looking all sad and droopy. Why is she acting so strange, Mr. B? That's because, Mr. Z, yeah? there was a scene earlier where Alex visits Charlotte after the LARP. Really? But we've used video editing technology to move it here instead. Anyway, here's <laughs> that scene now. So it's after the LARP. Alex goes to Charlotte's weed shop to check in on her, but while they're talking, Charlotte snaps at Alex. She's really angry. I can tell some said no. Don't you listen? So Alex says her emotion power thing and realizes that Charlotte is actually angry at Ethan. I hate my son, Alex. <gasps> Did they get my mom to voice act this? <laughs> <laughs> if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. Now, Alex doesn't want to leave Charlotte like this, so she drains all of Charlotte's anger away. <sighs> but in doing so, she actually drains all of Charlotte's emotions. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... Yes. All systems nominal. <laughs> just turns into a robot. Weird at the festival. Alex essentially lobotomized her. Charlotte turns around and leaves. Just in the middle. We follow Charlotte. Like a fucking over zombie. To a tiny pier. A jetty, if you will. Alex says, Hey, Charlotte. She's like, hey. How deep do you think? <laughs> Alex doesn't say anything. She just listens. My whole life. I've always felt she so did, I was waiting for her to pause like no, I was waiting for her to pause like how deep do you think the lake is? Do you think my son could swim out of it if I tied some concrete around his legs and just threw him in there? <laughs> just said it in the most robotic voice ever. Maybe <coughs> this better. Can you imagine saying that to a human? My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe it's better to be shallow, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Hmm, have fun. Uh, I mean, I'll just be getting over the death of my lover. Hmm, but, mm. you know, you have fun at the festival. Hmm. Charlotte <laughs> then perambulates away. Do you think all the townspeople can... Let's go back to our apartment, Mr. B. I hear steps Trap them like they're in the fucking Ooh. Sims. We go to the balcony porch area and, ah, Steph. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. Thank God. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. What does she mean she's gonna play her music again? She doesn't even have enough people for a band. <laughs> she has to get Alex to do it. And that's always the first thing she's... people look for in a band. They're like, the drummer. I need a new destination. Steph lays out three postcards on the table and says, Pick one. I'm not going to decide for myself. Alex, I want you to decide where I will go. I know we literally right, just so met like yesterday or something, Berlin. but... What year? Salem, Massachusetts. Or the bottom of the ocean. Wait. Alex picks Salem. When they were Salem. looking at Berlin, did he say Halloween fucking what year? The world. You motherfucker. Who do I hang out with? You join a coven. A lesbian coven. <laughs> Mr. B, I'm spitting out my milk and all this stuff every <laughs> A lesbian coven? Is there uh, any other kind? Uh, <laughs> you uh, hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Because I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. That's <laughs> when you do it with a much older baby. <laughs> <laughs> Steph makes us an offer we cannot refuse. Then come with me. 
Alex does not know what to say. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. No, wait, did Oh, that's sweet. There's, what's the timeline in this? To me. You mean the world to me? They've known each other for like two. This is just like every. Oh They've known each other God. for 24 hours, I feel like. Dude, it's, dude. it's probably me been Mr. longer Davis in the game because they skipped a lot. But. The Why are you biting your lip? Did they just <laughs> meet? <laughs> Alright, what do we do? Oh my Wait, God. Do we get? Oh, not the, we get. not them turning me. this into like but a lesbian U Haul meme. So it's going to take meme. <laughs> Alex I... <laughs> a few minutes to make that. <laughs> They're making out like it's this massive thing, but this is literally a Tuesday in story mode. Off. <laughs> oh my god! Now they're both their auras are going gold. What the fuck? What? Uh, Mr. B, if that's what happens when they kiss, what happens? Oh, when don't they say it. Well, don't I mean, it, it makes sense because um, it's just pee anyway. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck? Think. <laughs> now, Steph has been wowed by that kiss. But much like with the Diane situation, she gets a little, you know, flustered. And she says, all right, I, I gotta go. And Steph leaves. Alex then walks over to the balcony. She's got a lot on her mind. That's how you get the ladies. And even more. Kiss them and then USB. run away. She begins talking to I swear to, to God, Gabe, no. Dead. If they hey, did not copy Gabe? shit. Can I tell you something? If they did not copy this oh. I kissed Steph, so that happened. She unironically hit a, so that happened. And she just looks up into the sky and she sees like this big, like figure of Gabe going like this, his arms crossing his, <laughs> she kisses <laughs> Anyway, says Alex, I'd better go take this USB stick to the police. We leave our apartment and go outside the pub to speak with Pike. Alex laughs to herself. Ha ha, what a funny world this is. Life truly is strange. <laughs> Alex. Uh, it's Pike. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here, Chief. I'm just a different If they James didn't call a secret plan, I'm the gonna be so tough. But Pike does not give us the reaction that we want. Instead, he gravely says, You need to come with me to the station. <laughs> to which Alex responds, What is what this? What is, wait. Did you turn into George Costanza? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what, what did they Alex, do to her face? Don't make this hard. And the scene cuts to black. Ad time. Oh my dun, 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 dun. god. It's back. Walk the Thunder. drama. They said they were going to take it off the market, but they changed their minds. Wait. Walk Thunder, the editor <laughs> turned to me the other day and what? he said, is that the one with the tanks? And I said, <laughs> not just tanks, editor, 2,500 tanks, planes, ships, and helicopters from 10 nations. Spanning a hundred years oh of war god. history stuff. Did they even have war back then? This is a haunted <laughs> game. Shut there up. are creepy pasts around. No, uh, we're not doing that. I went to a garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy, he had a copy of War Thunder, but well, it Fuck very off with these fucking ads, I comes, swear to God. And he ah! said, it's free to download it's on PlayStation, Xbox, Xbox, and PC. Lightning flashed, and he said, <laughs> if you sign up now, you'll get 100k Silver Lions. Okay. Seven days of premium content access. Exclusive Eagle of Valor <laughs> vehicle decorators. Whoa! Then a black cat ran oh by. Oh my god! War Thunder today, use the link in the description. Mr. B, I'm looking on Steam right now, and it's like the 10th most downloaded game there is. What's up with that? Whoa! Did you know, Mr. Z, when Whoa. I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be a radiologist, but someone already invented the radio. Exactly. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? <laughs> what yeah. I could master x-rays in War Thunder. Whoa, Mr. B, with uh, the impressive x-ray system, you can see right through the tank. Going again? I see what it had for love. Yeah. Whoa, that tank ate those people. I remember Mr. playing it. Let him out uh, of it. It's basically what it is. You could have, like, a land game. But you could do it's it basically you just Mr. B, I've got hoping you don't blow up Please? War Thunder has just invented this before brand new killing technology. something else. It's wow, look at all those players with over 70 million across the world. Mr. Z, can you imagine that? Eagle of Valor? The guy oh at the garage sale said there's three cool modes. But whatever you do, do not play realistic. And then I saw a skeleton. <laughs> Mr. B, I've got scoliosis. <laughs> 
Can I play War Thunder? Well, Mr. Z, the game's so heavily optimized that you don't even have to sit up straight to get great FPS. But the graphics and the sound effects are still realistic and very good, Mr. B. That's why I play games. War Thunder's for everyone, <laughs> Mr. B, I've got a friend who's allergic to peanuts. <laughs> Can he play Warthunder? <laughs> Is he allowed to play Warthunder? <laughs> Mr. B, I've got a wife now. Is she allowed to play Warthunder? Uh, no. So, go to the link in the description below. And if you're a new player, or you haven't played in six months, you get all this cool stuff that we mentioned before. You could be playing this right now. That's crazy. And over. We are now in jail. Okay, is he just I another? Just you to sign this release is he just another call, corrupt um, cop, or is he just a dumb cop, in, or be, what's happening? Pike, why am I here? Pike is holding a file. He puts it on the table and sits down. The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. At least tell me you looked at it. Sorry. Anything on this USB would be inadmissible in court. I'm gonna have to drop this Typhon case, and you're going yes, to jail. Didn't fucking copy forever. any of that shit. Okay, I'm get the point. I'm sorry, I stole the drive, but apologizing isn't enough. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. We are presented with a choice. There's either no way, or we're gonna have to fuck Diane. <laughs> fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. Well, you, you make a point. She goes, <laughs> What was it? I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you can get on that date with Steph. <laughs> if you agree to drop everything. Pike slides a document over to Alex. Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. I like how she says that like that's some big fucking revelation. Uh, yeah. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? Now, Pike. Don't you want to be an actual cop? Says, what do you mean, cover it up? Wait a minute, Alex. W what are you talking about? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. What? And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. What? <laughs> it's Come fucking on, Pike. Pike. I can't. It's all right here. Pike looks down. He's thinking about it, but alas, he says, Please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. Pike has an outburst, okay. and now he's glowing purple. Okay, I'm sorry, but for a cop to say no is not an option has way too many meanings no one should be comfortable with. No one. I think he's scared, Mr. Z. Uh, me too. What are you so scared of? How do you know I'm scared? <laughs> you gotta tell me you have some sort of powers. Listen, Alex, you don't know what Typhon's capable of. They spy on people. They've been keeping track of you. Pike then throws down a couple of Polaroids. See for yourself. Oh, she's being tracked. There's photos of her at the shops and in the woods. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Pike then goes on to explain the obvious thing that Alex should have considered at the beginning. Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. But Alex has an idea. What if she just takes so away So he's just Pike's admitting fear? to us he's a corrupt uh -huh. cop. She basically. did that with Charlotte and worked out really well. If we don't have anything to fear, we'll be able to take down Typhon. Alex puts up her emotion hand and sucks away Pike's fear. I know you're afraid. I am too. She's doing the speech. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too 
invincible? Yeah, let's see. They murdered her, uh, uh, her fucking brother. They set off charges say. they weren't supposed to in multiple places. I just need your help. Covering something Alex up. Then slides the USB back stalked her. Please. Oh, please. Oh, I, go on, I, Pike. I'll think about it. You are still going to have to fuck Diane. But... <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Get what I just Really? So Alex gets up to leave the interrogation room. But then... Alex. No, and one more thing. <laughs> Happy almost birthday. No, fuck off. Okay, here's the problem with this. She takes away his fear and he's like, you know what? I will do something really stupid. <laughs> Officer Pike's body was found. <laughs> yeah, we're just... We just... We just <laughs> he's fucking dead in the morning. <laughs> We open to Alex's apartment. Now, she has convinced Officer Pike to take on the case, the case against Typhon. Typhon, which killed her brother. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Al I swear to God, if they didn't copy the evidence, like, I know I keep saying this, but it's actually pissing me off <laughs> that they haven't shown anything like, I know they skip a lot, of course, to make these videos, but if they didn't make a copy, <laughs> I can't. I can't. Alex goes downstairs to meet with Jed at the bar. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Now you notice diegetically, he's got the red light on him now. Red for passion. <laughs> Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. Alex puts her head Sorry, in her hands and mic. goes, You saw Pike arrest me. I know you're used to looking out for <clears throat> yourself. I know you're used to being alone, Alex, but I want to help After you. After your brother first, abandoned you, apparently. You have to let me know what's going on. Come on, Alex, spill the beans. Is there some sort of explosive revelation about Typhon that will change things forever? Alex sighs and says, What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. Really? I have proof. But why would they do that, Alex? So it goes a little something like this, Jed. I found out that Typhon's trying to cover up some secrets in the old mine. The mine where you used to work. You know, the Jed Zone. A secret? <laughs> the Jed Zone. Says Jed. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. And then Jed goes. I know what they're hiding. What? I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Not the USB drive <gasps> of the cop's know? ass. I know what they buried in the mountains. Alex leans forward. Tell me. Is it a dragon? I'll do one better. I'll show you. And both me and Mr. B gasp audibly. Red two, one. <gasps> <gasps> The scene changes. Exterior, night. Jed is leading Alex to the old mine. They're standing right above an old ventilation shaft that leads right to the Jed zone. Jed says, about two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. So what he's saying is, we're all alone. Jed points <laughs> over to the ventilation shaft and Ominous. says, what you're searching for is down below. Alex creeps towards the shaft. This is so down. stupid. No, wait. And she says, I don't see anything, Jed. This Should is so, no. More? But then. No, first of all, it was dumb of her to just accept he was going to show her instead of tell her. Second of all, don't go out there alone with the dude. Don't, don't go in the middle of the woods with anyone you don't 110% trust. It, I just don't do it. Don't do it. Alex feels what an emotion could possibly from go Jed. wrong. Jed. Why are you sad? Suddenly we hear the sound of a gun in heat. Alex turns around and Jed is holding a gun. Mr. B, that looks to me like either a a Glock or a Desert Eagle 45 cal. 
can you have an AR-15 in Colorado? <laughs> it's got hollow point bullets. It can... <laughs> and a bump stuck. <laughs> it's America. You Jid could... then says, I'm sorry, kid. You can have a fucking machine gun on your fucking... You don't have to do this. I do. Big ass truck. Jed begins doing his bad guy soliloquy. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... You can't undo. Did you also steal a USB stick? <laughs> <laughs> the Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. But Alex ain't going down that easy. She puts up her emotion powers hand and she's about to suck the sad ride out of him. Go to hell. <laughs> Well, Mr. B, she really just got shot right in the fucking face. There's like the katana slash and everything. <laughs> the katana Jed slash. She shoots Alex, and her body falls down into the mine shaft. The drama. Unless she falls on a big pile of cotton at the bottom, or at least one square of water, she's dead. What are your thoughts on just ending? I love how. Did anybody else hear that? I love how we just. What's I heard like the steam cast? achievement sound. Next time on Life is Strange True Colors. Well, she might be a little fucked up. <laughs> well, this is it, Fuck the off. halfway point of the video, and boy, was that an exciting episode. We're halfway there, guys. I mean, to think we're only halfway through the video and our protagonist is dead. What a relief. <laughs> I can't believe Jed turned out to be a bad guy, after all. All's not quite what it seems in this idyllic town, Mr. B. I mean, we don't actually know what the secret is yet. We don't know what Jed did. There's a part at the start of the game, mm. which we cut, it's in the, it would have been in the first episode, mm. where when Alex meets Charlotte for the first time, Jed gives Charlotte one of his special meat pies. That's not, a, that's true. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> not the I dramatic. Think this is it. No. This little quaint, small, idyllic town for the lovely people. Yeah, we're super hungry. Yes, with their hidden secret. I'd love the drama. A pie special with fries. <laughs> you know what I think their secret is? Cannibals. <sighs> Sweeney Todd. Wouldn't that be crazy? Now, I we do this, Mrs. can't e. we got some with questions them. from the audience. Questions about Life is Strange this time. Oh, yeah, the hashtag. How's that one doing? Not a single person used it. Mr. Z, why did the entire town do a LARP just for Ethan? Well, Charlotte's single now, mm. and everybody's trying to get in Ethan's good books uh. so that they can be in a relationship with her next. You know what they say mm. when it comes to being a dad? Third time's the charm. Oh, we call that a dad hell. plus plus. <laughs> Not a dad plus plus. Imagine hating yourself enough to play this. Well, I got good news. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was when, when we were going through it, I actually wasn't like hating it, hating it. I was mm. kind of like, I could see myself getting lost in this world if mm. I took it a bit more seriously. And I was like, it's 8.30, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, well, let's wrap it up. I guess. Anyway, Alex is dead. Where else could this video go? There's only one way to find out. All right, are you ready for the final episode, Mr. B? The conclusion of the story, what this whole season has been leading up to. How will they top this dramatic moment? Shortly. How will they top it? And top it good. Last we saw Alex, she had been she, shot. She shot got shot in the Jen, face and thrown and down a fucking shaft. she was falling into a mine shaft. She's dead. Definitely dead. There's just no way you can come back from that. I don't know. I've actually... Uh, to no, be fair... We cut to Alex and she's alive. I, as un unrealistic as it does sound, there's actually been um, real-life cases when it comes to, like, mine shafts and, like, um, uh, fucking holes in the ground that aren't covered properly. And there'll be, like, like kids or people that'll fall down these these ginormous uh basically shafts or holes it's like and i know what i'm saying yeah i know what i'm saying out of context i know i know but there's actually been real life cases where they'll fucking tumble their way down these things survive some way i mean they're usually like a little a little broken up but they they'll usually survive some way and some of them actually do end up getting rescued some don't make it
five, Mr. Z. Oh, well, wow, isn't that great? But she's not looking too good. <laughs> oh, I hope she makes it. <laughs> the enthusiasm. She goes to touch her head, right? And she says, oh, there's like blood all over my hands. And then the camera refocuses and we realize she hasn't even fallen down the whole way. That's a little bit far down. She stopped on one of the planks, like halfway down the mine shaft. Which is how she didn't die. When but you she plank looks up on a plank. You can see the moonlit sky. There is escape. And then she looks to the side and she sees a ladder. Ah, she reaches out towards it. But that wooden plank is just as unstable as she is. <laughs> Look out, Alex. It's going to break. <laughs> breaks and Alex is now falling tumbling tumbling towards the ground see this is why you should always carry a parachute Alex's fate or something with is you. unknown but unfortunately you never know. that doesn't mean the game is over Mr Z because <laughs> now we go into Alex's mind palace and we relive some key moments from her past. Let's flash back, Mr. B. Oh, I'm flashing back. But here's the thing. <laughs> so it's stupid. all I hate super this. emotional. I cried. It's, it's really good. But it goes on for about 30, 40 odd minutes, and it is boring. And we have far too much respect for you, the paying viewer. Can we get that line again, but don't sound like you're being sarcastic? <laughs> no. So we're going to do a summary version. Basically, when Alex was 10 years old, her mom died, died of cancer. But before she went, she gave Alex a locket as a memento. After Alex's mom died, Alex's dad, now his name is John Chen, he began to fall into a deep, deep depression. Come on, cheer up. Gabe, the brother, would fight with the father constantly. And one night, when Alex was 11, her dad came home after being laid off at work. And then he and Gabe started to fight about it. No. Oh. And when the dad went to go hit Gabe, he accidentally hit Alex instead. <gasps> <gasps> now he was very distraught that he nearly beat the wrong kid. So the dad walks out on Alex and Gabe. Not the wrong kid. And he took Alex's mum's locket with him. By this point, Alex and Gabe have no parents. They get put into the foster care system. Eventually, Gabe gets sent to juvie for doing crime, which means Alex oh is all God. alone. No family wanted to adopt her because she had weird emotion powers. I'm sensing you can't have kids. Alex stopped <laughs> that. And that's why Alex is the way she is. And that's why life truly is strange. And that's why Alex is about to wake up with a big gasp. <laughs> she's alive. But barely. God, she just fell onto pure rock. Oh my god, she would just be a bloody mess. She'd be even more broken than she already is. <sighs> owie, 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 owie. <laughs> it seems like yeah, Alex to be has fair, fallen into the old mind. Like, again, she could survive, but she would be a lot broken up. Like, it'd be a lot closer. Uh, not surviving. <laughs> mine where Jed saved those miners all those years ago. The same mine that Typhon blew up with Operation Raya. Wait a minute. Is she in the Jed zone right now? I think she might be. Not Mr. the Z. Jed zone. Alex is in the Jed zone. <laughs> Alex creeps through the Jed so zone fucking extra. until she comes up across something odd. Okay, that's something. She can feel some sort of strong emotion. And it's red, so it must be anger. Mm. As we walk down the mine, we hear echoes from the past. It's an audio flashback of what happened 12 years ago in the Jed Zone. <laughs> Mr. B, <laughs> let's listen in. All right, boys, getting close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Goddamn right. Wait a minute, I recognize that voice. That's Jed! I need to play Water Helldivers. Water moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is f Nothing's f***ed. We finish the job. The fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! It sounds like something's wrong. Like the mine is filling with water. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now! I love... I. This is what Typhon tried to bury. 
But didn't Jed save everybody? No, Mr. Z. It sounds like Jed just left a bunch of miners to die. Uh... Alex comes to the end of the cave and she sees a big pile of rubble. I love the way huh. they did that. Why would there <laughs> be rocks so... in a mine? All the emotion stuff seems to be coming from this big pile. Mr. B, there's a curio there. Alex bends down to pick it up and... <gasps> Wait a minute. Alex recognizes that item. This is Alex's mum's locket. The one that her dad took when he ran away from home. What? Alex opens up the locket and inside... That little girl from Monster Z. <laughs> no, Mr. Z. It's a photo of Alex and Gabe as children. What? And that can only mean one thing, Mr. Z. Dad. What? Her father <gasps> must have been in these mines. Oh my God, Mr. B. Suddenly, another thing happens. We hear screams from the past. It's John Chen, Alex's dad, saying, Jed, come back. Jed, you son of a bitch. Jed, you're a bad guy. Come back. <laughs> you have forsaken us to this fate. It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, Jed is not a hero. He caused the old mine to flood, and then he left seven men to die, one of which was Alex's dad. And that, Mr. Z, is what Typhon has been covering up all these years. What? If that seems like an insane amount of exposition to backload at the end of the game, that's because it is. I don't understand. Don't think about it too much, Mr. Z. No, Just turn I... your brain off. Wait, how do you cover up the death of... Yeah, I... I don't get it either. Why would a company go out of their way to cover it up so much like that and be able to? Like, just... I... Don't get me wrong, I know there's been cover-ups and shit. It's just... Why... What they... What... Usually... I don't know. I think what would have happened in real life is that they would have thrown Jed under the bus. Like they would have made him out to be the biggest villain ever, and they and they would have tried to like do some PR moves. You know what I'm saying? So many people. Yeah, it's the fact that it's seven miners. If it was just John Chen, it was yeah. just one person. You could like sweep it under the rug, kind of. But it's like seven people. That's seven families that mm. are like. Hey, my my sleepy dad and my grumpy dad. They haven't come home. <laughs> I got. <laughs> <laughs> God, Alex that's Chen is now doors. more determined than ever. We're now armed with the locket. And the truth. Cut to black. The we hear drama. a chain rattle and then a bang. We cut to Alex Chen exiting the cave. What? Mr. Z, Alex has just walked out of the mine. Wait a minute, Mr. B. Are you telling me? The Jed led us all the way out into the woods to a secluded mine shaft so that he could shoot us, toss our pear shaped body all the way down. <laughs> where, <laughs> where no one would ever find us again, mm. where the evidence would be lost forever. Except at the bottom of the mine shaft, there's literally a path to an exit, and the door is unlocked, and you can walk out. Well, yeah, otherwise she would die. So anyone who wanted to go exploring the old mine shaft would just stumble upon the dead body with a bullet wound and go, who did this? Yes, but counterpoint, Alex can read people's emotions. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. This is so stupid, Mr. B. This is like, they, it's, they've, got, they've gone too far this time. Anyway, <laughs> she limps her way back to civilization to tell on Jed. The scene opens up. We're outside the Black Lantern bar now. And on the inside, the members of Haven are having a council meeting. What's the council meeting about, Mr. B? Well, Typhon's looking to expand their operations within Haven. Oh. And it's all lynching on this one meeting, if it goes well. <laughs> so Diane is giving a speech. She says, During my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations 
Oh, by the way, we didn't mention this lady. It's Eleanor. She doesn't matter at all. She has Alzheimer's. She's like Riley's fake grandma and like that sort of a thing, but otherwise it's like... <laughs> who greets every customer by name. He's like, thank you, Diane. <laughs> Ryan and Steph look at each other knowingly. They're just thinking, where is Alex? Have you heard from her? No, I haven't. Diane's inspirational speech is over. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. The saloon doors swing open. Objection! Uh, uh, <laughs> Objection. <laughs> she legit said, but Alex you can't kill me. straight at Jed and she's looking determined. Steph turns around and sees Alex in her poorly state. Alex, oh my God, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Alex turns to Ryan and says, you're not gonna like what I've got to say next. Now the camera cuts over to Jed and Diane and they are plotting in the corner. What do we do? I thought you shot her. I did shoot her. No, she's come back. Did you use the hollow points I gave you? <laughs> oh, too big for this the panic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we cut back to Alex. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. All right, Mr. B, Alex is about to crack this case wide open. Take it away, Alex. <laughs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Here we go. I think Jed's done for Mr. Z. I was down in the mine last night. <gasps> I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. What? Huh. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. He's a zero. <laughs> that whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident, oh and then he abandoned seven of his men. <laughs> he let them drown to save himself. Wait, she's jumped like eight steps ahead in the story. What? She's just making claims. Why, why isn't she just showing the bullet wound and being like, look at what Jed just did to me? <laughs> yeah, there she were didn't pictures even. pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. What? No one else in the room has any idea what's going on. Because one of those miners was my father. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Z, I don't think Alex is making a very good case right now. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it for her. Jed shot me! <laughs> Everyone, hello! It's me, Jed! Hello! Shot me, Jed shot me! Yeah. Just into this whole Jim Carrey yeah. mode. Like. Yeah. Alex, what's going on? <laughs> now, Jed gives his big, I don't know what she's talking about performance after he shot her. <laughs> you know exactly what's going on. Nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. Everyone in the room must just be like, what the hell is she talking about? That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. Oh my God. Jed shot me. Look at the bullet Yeah, why hole. is she not mentioning That's this? That's the only thing you even need to say. Everything else is secondary. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. <laughs> Look at him sigh. <laughs> Diane and Jed are looking at each other. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God she's stupid. Time to vote. We look around the bar and it's all just blank fluoride stairs. Nine out of 10 dentists agree that Alex has lost the room. Why aren't any of you saying anything? Now, Diane steps forward, and the thoughts in her brain voice are a little more structured and organized. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. These accusations are... well, they're insane. If that's true, then how come you're glowing purple right now? You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. <sighs> Swing and a miss. I mean, it's a, it's a hard position to defend. Someone says, you're crazy, but like, no, my locket was in the mine. Ryan pipes up. Dad? Papa? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No, I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. You tried to kill me. 
How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. This is so frustrating. I hate it. I actually, uh, this is the worst part of the game. The only thing I can think is that she didn't actually get shot. Alex beseeches the crowd. Please. <sighs> I know. She's over here. She's over here dying, and they're don't like, "Don't trust him." Wow, I don't think. I did too. <sighs> but I'm telling the truth. Suddenly, Steph steps forward. I believe you. Of course, I do. Everyone's like, wait, Steph, the town DJ, she's on board? Well, <laughs> sorry, Jed, but it looks like you're not getting out of this one. Uh-uh, Mr. B. That's not how it goes down. What actually happens is... Critical failure. <laughs> Ducky the gnome breaks the silence. I would like to speak. <laughs> uh, uh, who the fuck's this? <laughs> I mean, I know who it is, but boy, has he not had a point to make throughout the game. <laughs> I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Ho oh, ho, looks like people are picking sides, Mr. B. And Alex doesn't have the majority. But what about Charlotte? She loves us. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. Charlotte's just thinking, man, I should have taken that money. Oh my God, what have I done? They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. Well, you're a monster too. Everyone, she hates her son. She hates her son. <laughs> There's something wrong with you, Alex. <laughs> and now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Charlotte's also not helping. Wow, ungrateful. Listen, Charlotte, I have powers, and I took your emotion of angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just makes herself actually look insane. Oh, man, this is not looking good, Mr. B. Now we got Steph, though. <laughs> Don't worry, because Pike's taking the stand. Hell yeah, Officer Pike, here to save the day. He says, Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? Wait. I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm not scared of you guys. Hard cut to his body being dumped in. Well, he's like walking out of the mine. <laughs> I know what they were hiding. I found a locker down there. My dad was down there. <laughs> it just makes the exact same terrible cake. And out of you? Not now typhoon. everyone starts all right, arguing. They all form Did groups and start yelling at each other. Personal issue with me? Like hell I do. But Alex has got determination on her face. I think that's blood actually. She is slowly <laughs> limping towards Ryan and Steph. Somehow she's walking faster post bullet wound. Alex goes up to Ryan and says, You believe me, right? You believe me, right? Someone you've known for a week over your own dad? Ryan responds angrily. My dad is not a murderer. Attempted murderer. Alex reaches out her hand. Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Maybe he is. No. I'm not going to let you do that to me anymore. Steph steps forward. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Uh-oh, everything's falling apart. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. What? Oh shit. Mr. B, Alex has stopped time. Does Alex have a stand? She's <laughs> Does Alex have now. a stand? <laughs> Shut and up. She's locking Jed in some sort of, it's like an emotion purgatory. All right, even though she had a straight flush, she couldn't win the argument. So now it's Deus Ex Marketer Powers time. Alex walks up to Jed and starts grilling him. I know why you tried to kill me. So that you didn't want to go to jail? <laughs> I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. What in the Jedi mind trick the fuckery is this? 
You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. I like the way she says, you would have murdered me, and then shakes her head, like, <laughs> with disapproval. Oh, uh, says Jed. Is anyone else here locked in time? <laughs> Alex keeps on going. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you were too selfish to say those words out loud. There was so much It's like when you have an argument, they, they like win, but then they just keep going. You're like, okay, I get it, you win. They're like, well, another thing. Like, yeah, I get it, you win. <laughs> and okay, another it. thing. I'm in jail now. <laughs> Jed seems shaken. Whatever Alex is doing, it's working. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. You got me. Oh, my God. I feel bad now. Sad face. I know who you are. I'm Jed. It's <laughs> the worst parts of you. It's actually average sized. What? what? And I forgive you. I forgive you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can hear odds, the odds. Alex has done it. I love I love how when they're like so like fed up or it's so funny or something that you can literally hear their chair creak when they just have to move with the emotion they just gotta move they're like no nah. uh. <laughs> alex has convinced jed to confess to his crimes he starts to cry and collapses to the ground uh, i did it it was me once jed gives his full story to the police Typhon is finished. No one's ever going to do any mining ever again, and we're all just going to get along. It is funny on its face. <laughs> it is funny even without context. You could just take this clip and put it as a short. Yeah, this is like too comical to actually be sad and emotional. Like, what the fuck? Funny. That could be the one. The, can we do that in one short? One short. <laughs> So it's a few days later now, and now Alex is lying on her bed, fiddling with her guitar. So Alex gets up off her bed. I need to get some air. But just as she's about to climb the stairs, suddenly there's a knock at the door. Oh, who could that be? Hey, Steph. It's Steph. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. She must have some big news. Okay. Uh, uh. Steph turns to us and she says, What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Uh. It's the bravest thing I've ever seen. And I have this haircut. <laughs> what? And it made me want to be brave too. God damn it. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. Didn't they? Ooh. But wait, didn't they already like kiss Never and make out and already? Arjun to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Didn't they technically? Well, Alex says, You've, uh, wait, given me a lot to think about. <laughs> what? Didn't they already order the U-Haul? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Cause like, her her powers like exploded after they kissed. Like, uh, uh, what? Oh. To, to think about. Yeah, that's a, that's rough, Doug. Can I get a definitive yes or no? Because now I'm kind of in limbo. This is the worst possible scenario. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be real. If it was a no, I could have moved on with my life. You know where to find me. Steph then goes to head out the door. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. E, thank you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Alex. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye. See you, see you later. Oh, did you say something? <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Okay, then. That's fine. You didn't say... Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm good. I'm good. Look, just a simple yes or no. <laughs> really help. Steph leaves, having been friend-zoned. End of scene. No, for fuck's one sake. One final scene, Mr. B. And this one is a bit of a tearjerker. It's Alex Chen on the balcony of her apartment, and she's all alone. Well, not entirely alone, Mr. <gasps> Z. All right. Just tell me. Alex looks over, and it's it's Gabe! What? 
He wasn't dead after all. No, he's definitely dead. No, he's, he's, no, he's he's dead. that rock to the face. <laughs> this is like a ghost of Gabe. Definitely in Alex's dead. Mind. Ghost what Gabe over Alex here. Alex says to Ghost Gabe, now that I took down of Typhon, course. my only family's dead, and I've burned bridges with almost everyone in town, what should I do next? What'll be the next wacky adventure for Alex Chen? Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Gabe chuckles, and he begins epilogging about what's next for Alex. Actually, I do know what you should do. It's a little something like this. You're gonna stay in Haven with Steph. You're 21. I'm sure the relationship will last. <laughs> you will do air guitar at the record studio. As it is slowly closing down and losing inventory, it looks like. <laughs> you don't need money if you've got love, Alex. Seasons change and the years will pass. As will your love for Steph. <laughs> but Haven's God gonna change too, Alex. The Black Lantern will stay open. Even though Jed has gone to jail, they replaced all the placards, and thankfully, the guns, with community-run establishment. No subtext there. <laughs> Riley what? will date a new guy now. Mac has been cucked. <laughs> Steph and Ethan and Alex are playing D&D &D just over... Why did Mac sit there? <laughs> Could you still hang out with Ethan? Which is kind of weird. Not sure what Charlotte's doing. Ryan is out of the picture now, and Ducky is presumed dead. And the most extraordinary thing of all is <laughs> okay, Bill, okay. just how normal it feels. We cut back to Gabe and Alex. Gabe says, So, what do you think? Alex says, I know what I want. And when she looks over to Gabe, Mr. Z, he's gone. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> the scene fades away. And into one last scene. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> We're dragging we it out now. We're dragging it out. Jetty. Up here, if you will. <sighs> Alex stands up. <laughs> oh, fuck me, it just goes forever. <laughs> I'd mean, be surprised if it was in the epilogue of the game they really decided that pacing was an issue. <laughs> <laughs> Alex then turns and walks away, heading back to the old western style town saloon. Knowing that 90% of the town didn't have her back when she needed it most. Some relationships will never be repaired. Mm -hmm. And the backbone of the local economy, Typhon, has left the town for good. The end. That's it. Life is okay. strange. <laughs> well, it really is. Really, 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 It really, really fucking is. So everyone's talking about Life is Strange True Colors. People saying how it's the best game ever. Life is Strange True Colors. Yes. Game, of the, game of the year, yep. 20, 21, 22, 23, yeah. and 27. They just keep giving it game <laughs> of the year. It's very unfair to everybody else. I heard, because of the recent interest, the developers have been thinking about adding DLC, where it adds Ducky as a romance companion. Oh, fuck off. From the start of the game. And he fuck follows you around. No. Oh, fuck. And he, like, yeah. he gives all the words to Ducky and it's like, like you'll um, be down in the mine mm. and then turning Alex it into a fucking and horror and game. He's there in the gnome hat. He's fine. He's fine. He found his own way around. Mm. And he's just standing there thinking, hoo, hoo. he goes, hoo. I did see a question that was like, did you guys come up with all the rhymes for the LARP? Well, I rhymed tavern with drink he do be having. So, as you can tell, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How did Alex do such a bad job making her case? That was really quite frustrating, Mr. B. I think probably the most frustrating thing in the whole game. I think the problem is with the case is she actually can't make a good case because she's got no evidence. She's got nothing. What do you mean? Well, I mean, she did. I think I saw on the wiki that it's confirmed she didn't get shot. She just got grazed. So there's no bullet wound. So everyone just thinks, well, she just clearly threw herself down a bank and then came in and said that Jed shot her. What makes more sense? Oh, this new girl who's in town is crazy and she's acting out because, you know, she's losing her mind with grief. Mm. Or she got shot down a mine by beloved Jed and she somehow survived that, you know? It would have been cool if there was like a Gabe skeleton yeah. that like chased him around. <laughs> you know? 
or like a little group of little green goblins without bows and arrows. Yeah, when, when it comes Maybe to small town shenanigans, down, it's like if you're the new one in what town, up with the locket? you're the most like suspicious, really the most likely to be crazy. Here's my suggested fix. Most likely mm, to be right, the one you know, committing all the down, crimes. We criticize a lot, but sometimes it's good to help build back up again. Would yes. you agree? When she threw the locket, it should have broken in half. Yeah. She kept one half. Mr. Chen kept the other half. Oh. She comes down to the mine, connects them back together. Bang. There you go. That makes perfect. I like it in, like, ten minutes before the end of The Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> Neo takes a red pill. <laughs> and he's... Well, I mean, it's like right at the end of Star Wars... They're on the Millennium Falcon, and it's like, well, we did it. We destroyed the Death Star. And then Luke pulls out this crazy device we've never seen before. What the heck is that? And this blue beam comes up, and he goes... Okay, Mr. B, at this point, I feel like I need to do a small interjection just to be more fair to the game and the story. Because you've been quite harsh so far. I get the feeling you didn't like it. The truth is, while this game sucks, objectively... You can just say any story beat from any story sarcastically and make it sound bad. Mm. Oh, oh, then Odysseus goes to Ithaca. Da, da, da. Oh, here's a horse. Then he wheeled it right into the middle of the city. So to be fair, we are doing that quite a lot. Yeah, I to be fair, they are trying the to make it funny be the and final dumb. Judge of the quality of this story. So, at the end, I think it's fair. If you want to leave a comment about whether or not you think the story is good or bad, we'd love to see it. That's a, he's trying to engagement beat you, but I wouldn't do it if I were you. <laughs> Patreon link will be up on the screen. Um, well, Mr. B, this truly was an incredible first season of Life is Strange True Colors. I mean, I think it wraps it up beautifully, you know? Alex's mum's dead. Her dad's dead. Babe's <laughs> dead. I hope. NBC picks up this show and we get like 15 seasons and then they do like a young Alex thing. Oh, that'd be great, yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Signing. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck out. Fuck so off. now is your last chance ever to get War Thunder. Once this video is over, I you couldn't get over get that. The, That's where you're wrong, Mr. Z. With the, the expressions on her face, like they, <laughs> someone you did can not download it for free on do it Xbox right. And PlayStation. What a reprieve, Eagle of Valor. <laughs> <laughs> fucking eagles, the fucking eagles screech. I can't. <laughs> oh man, that was definitely an ending. It, it definitely ended. There was uh, some drama, some comedy, some comedy drama. And then they dragged out the ending. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck?